Hi, today I want to talk about the ESP32 and building a small Bluetooth logging multimeter with the INA219 chip and also an OLED display and certainly the Bluetooth ability to send all the measured data to a Bluetooth device, maybe like your mobile phone or your computer. First, let us talk about the setup I use. I use I2C devices, the INA219 and also the SSD1306 OLED display, all both steered by the I2C bus. So we connect the ground, the VCC line and also the SDA and SCL to the GPIO pins 22 and 21 and we have our setup ready. And if we want to measure the voltage and current on a load, we need a power supply. We can use one with the INA219 from 0 to 26 volt and then we connect the ground to the load and also to the power supply and the positive line from the power supply goes to the VN plus and back from the VN minus to the load and that's it. So this is the setup on the breadboard and on the bench and I use two 1k resistors and an LED as a load and the first test is with the 3.3 rail as an power supply and we can see the all the readings in the display and now let's switch to the 5 volt rail so we can see the difference and I plug in the 5 volt to the V plus input of the INA219 and we see the 5 volt on the display and now here is another power supply I use a solar cell as an supply and you see on the back side there's the the red and the blue wire soldered to the outputs of the of the solar cell and we can use this i plug the blue to the ground and the red one to the v plus and we see the readings on the display and certainly my my lighting is not bright enough to see any powering of the led but it's just an indicator what we can do with other power supply so next test i flash the BLE or Bluetooth firmware to my device and we can use my mobile phone and the NIF connect from Nordic semiconductor to see what we can what what readings we have over Bluetooth and this is just a start we can do a next series with the Bluetooth device and we see just the voltage reading on the V plus so we see our 3.3 volts or nearly 3.3 and if I disconnect the 3.3 volt we see about 0.8 but this is the point because this is the voltage drop over the LED and now I plug back and we see the 3.3 reading again. First I use the Arduino IDE to test my setup and I use the library manager to find some libraries for the INA219 chip and I use this Arduino INA219 from this four guys John Zaryarnen Gandhi 92 and Bindea and I installed the version 101 and I also use the library U8G2 library from Oli Kraus and I installed the 2.14.7 version and certainly my display is the SSD1306. So let's start with the demo code. This is also the demo code from Flavio Spindia I used and I just added the UAG library code. So I added this line for the SSD1306 display and we have 128 times 64 pixels and I use the hardware I2C communication. Then I set up the INA21219 object and 
we all initialize the objects. We begin with the serial interface, the U8G library and the INA219. Then I use some static variables outside my loop so we don't have to initialize the variables on every loop. And in the loop, we just measure with the INA219 object all the voltages, the current, and also the power. Then I clear this display, set up some fonts, and so on, and just print out all the readings to the display. And we do this by send the buffer, and then we do a delay, and the loop starts again. So that's it with the test code for Arduino ID. Next, I switch to Eclipse, and as told, you've watched it maybe. Maybe I use the oxygen release from Eclipse IDE. And this is my main entry point and I just create a task for the SSD 1306 and we click to the task and we open our C++ program and the tasks do nearly the same as the Arduino code. We just set up our device, build our objects for the INA219 and also for the SSD1306 with the UHG library. Then we clear the display and initialize the I2C bus and so on. And then we just read out all the readings from our INA219 object and we do the same as the Arduino code. We clear the display, set some fonts and draw all the strings to the display. Then send the buffer to print out all the readings to our display, do some small delay and then the loop starts again. And that's it. And the next thing I done, I do the Bluetooth low energy implementation and I use the libraries from Neil Colbin. So big thumbs up to Neil Colbin for writing all the C++ libraries for us. And I use the notify sample just to print out all the readings from our INA219. So this is the code and I just copy the INA219 code to this example and I can show you this library. This is all copied from the Arduino library and all I've done is added the I2C code instead of the wire library from Arduino. So let's have a look into the sample notify code and as you see this from this on this is all the example I copied from Neil's examples and just put out here the code initialize the INA219 and this time I initialize also the I2C bus because on the other example this is done by the U8G library or U8G2 library and this time we have to start and set the I2C bus with the INA219 and my goal is also to implement the U8 G2 library, but I do this with the next video. So be a little bit patient with me. And this is the code where I read the bus voltage and then print the bus voltage to a buffer and we send the string buffer via Bluetooth with notifying. And that's it. So that's it for today. I hope you find this interesting, enjoy the video and hopefully learn something today. I wish you a nice day. See you next video and bye bye.